Welcome to the social space, everybody. We clap. <laughs> we are thrilled to death to have you. I'm Chris Morgan. That over there is Jackie Hager. That right there is Andrew Bell. This is Amanda Hansen. Don't yep. say anything. We'll get to you in a second. Okay. <laughs> Bossy. So <laughs> we have to do our wonderful sponsors because we can't live without them. Honestly, uh -huh. I don't think I could. Could you? No. no this we show be would here. not live without them. That's right. Let's go right. with that. Our great friends at um, Four Stars Auto Ranch in Henrietta. Falls Truck Center here in Wichita Falls, News Channel 6, and Town Square Media. We love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep sponsoring. And yes. I will say, American National Bank hops in, and yes. we're always grateful for them as well. Do we throw the trust in on that one, too? Yeah, American National Bank and, and trust. trust. That's a big deal for it, them. It is a big deal. Yeah. I, I'm sitting on the food bank board, and yes. one of our board members is one part of the trust part. Yes, and she Kelly probably Smith. hit me. If I didn't say the and trust part. And mm -hmm. trust. Exactly. They have one of the you, largest Kelly. trust departments in the state they of do. Texas. I'm and really proud fantastic. of them. They really yeah. are good. Okay. Are we ready? Do you I have anything so. to add today? Well, we've got some great events coming up. So, mm -hmm. you know, fall just gets busy. It does. It's like October comes and we're like, let's go. It's like a finish line to Christmas Eve. Which, by the way, just a couple of days, it was, what, 90 days away from Christmas Eve. Can you believe it? i got to start shopping. Oh, okay. Well, we need, <laughs> we need cooler weather first. But let me give you a little bit about what's coming up. On September, let's see, on September, Dave Hartman, this is the Lifelong Learning Center. Okay, and I They're you. doing all kinds of great things, so I'm excited about that. So, uh, let's see, on October 3rd, D David Hartman will be beginning his series on the parallel lives of Hitlin and Stalin. So if you're if you're a history buff, that's going to be a great one. Very cool. On Thursday the 5th at 10 a.m., Dick Chrislip of the North Texas Veterans Council mm -hmm. is going to share information on Honor Flight, mm -hmm. which is a nonprofit that provides veterans with travel to national monuments, mm -hmm. which I think is amazing. Is, those are incredible. Love that. And then at 1.30 that day, John, uh, John Scales will host his continuing conversation are you ready for this with the molecular biologist? This is what I love about the Lifelong Learning Center. They have all kinds of programs. Uh -huh. I mean, when you join, there's over 300 programs a year. There's going to be something almost every week. So it's a it's a great little thing. We've got empty bowls coming up on mm -hmm. October the 11th, and excited to talk to you with boots and uh, boots and heels for hot meals. I love it. There we go. All right, so. Awesome. Now we'll transition. This is called the transition. <laughs> Amanda Hansen joins us. Amanda, you have something to do with the last event Jackie mentioned. So tell us yes. who you are and what in the world you're doing here. All right. So I'm Amanda Hansen. I am one of the co-chairs for Boots and Heels for Hot Meals this year. And it is going to be the big fundraiser for Meals on Wheels, Wichita County this year. Awesome. So That's great. So how'd you get involved yeah. in that? Well, I'd have to say Jackie kind of roped me into it probably the first year we had um, the event. It was initially referred to as High Heels for Hot Meals, yes. but mm -hmm. we've kind of transitioned that because it takes all kinds of shoes to deliver Meals on Wheels. Oh. Um, so oh, regardless man. of if you want to wear your boots, your heels, your sneakers, we want you to come on out to the event, support Meals on Wheels, Wichita County, um, because we can't do it without the funds in our community. Yeah. I've got to say I've delivered Hot Meals uh, but on, for Meals on Wheels before, uh -huh. but I never wore heels. So oh, I don't know if I was you? doing it wrong. <laughs> Am I doing it's, it wrong? It's probably a little easier not to do it in heels. I will say okay. I've done it a few times in heels. Might take a little longer. All right. Right. You're, you're so fine with that. I think them. that's fair. All right. Amanda, so what happens at this event? Is yeah. there music? Is there a band? Yes. So this year, Boots and Heels for Hot Meals will be on Thursday, October the 12th. Okay. Um, the event kicks off at 6 p.m. Sponsors get in a little bit early for a VIP event and some meet and greet with the band. Oh, cool. Um, so we do have the band. Mm -hmm. um, we have the Texas Trio Band that will be performing this year. Okay. We are also bringing back something from years past we've continued to have, which is what we refer to as the shoe garden. Mm -hmm. um, so we have different businesses and individuals from around town that have decorated shoes. They will uh -huh. be on display on pedestals and you can um, bid and give money towards your favorite shoe so we can crown the winner at the end of the night, but it's always one of the signature pieces of our event. Mm -hmm. um, we will have a sit down steak dinner, small live auction, um, and just fun events throughout the night. That's cool. So that's a big fundraiser. What do you do with all those funds that come in? So 100% of the funds will go back to Mills on Wheels, Wichita County, um, to ensure that we can continue to feed the elderly in our community. Gosh, what a great program. Mm -hmm. I will say that I've been lucky enough to be over there when you guys are uh, letting that trail of vehicles come through and you're loading them up so they can get on the road and get out the door. 
Mm -hmm. That is just to sit there and watch that is a big deal. It yeah. is. It is. Um, I think it's pretty impressive to see that and see the kitchen and see how many meals they can put out uh -huh. in such a short amount of time to make sure yeah, everyone's they fed. Do it. Yeah. No. I, I, and what a rewarding thing for the person that's delivering the meals as well, yeah. you know? Yes. Golly. All right, now tickets. Let's talk about tickets. How do you get tickets and how do you show up? All right. So you can always, of course, call Meals on Wheels. Um, you can also go on, on to the website, um, which is M-O-W-W-C, which is Meals on Wheels, wichitacounty.org. Um, and underneath the events tab, you can purchase tables or individual tickets to the event as well. Um, so reach out to us and we can definitely get anybody to taken care of that would love to attend. All right, how much yep. are tickets? All right, so tickets are $125, so $125 for an individual ticket, okay. um, $1,000 for a table of eight. So split that with your friends, get yeah, them all to come with you, and come enjoy a fun night out. You get a steak like dinner fun. and a lot of entertainment. And I always like to see the way they decorate those shoes. We designed the shoes. We did have design yeah. shoes we need to pick before. <laughs> yes. It's on the list again next year. Absolutely. Girl. We did. And should I, I say we or should I say I? <laughs> <laughs> Remember that one year where we started in one direction, <laughs> then we ended up, we ditched it, and then went in a whole nother Yeah, yeah a bunch of panic is what We had a panic moment, but Andrew, we got, got two time. weeks. Surely you oh, can get no. one done. It was fun, though. It I is like fun. to see um, kind of the themes of each of these shoes are yes. so yeah. cool. Oh, yeah, right. very They're cool. Awesome. Yeah. Well, get us on the list next year. We want to create one. Okay, next year. we would let's, love for you to. Let's revive it, Andrew. <laughs> Only if you do it with me. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Things I've learned this segment. It takes something to design shoes. Yes. More than two weeks, apparently. It does. Um, you don't have to deliver Meals on Wheels in high heels. You do not. You don't have to do that. It's an that. option, but you do not have to. And you've got a great event coming up. So that's yes. I mean, yes. thank you. Thank, thank you for, for your volunteerism, us. too. That's, yeah. that's Absolutely. fantastic. Thank really you. appreciate yeah. you. All right, that's don't great. go away. We're going to come right back, talk more Meals yes. on Wheels. Yay! My name is Colby Pistacco. I'm a locally born and raised Medicare expert. Medicare can be confusing, but helping seniors find the right health insurance is what I do best. That's the Pistaco way. More personal, more thoughtful, more trusted. Fields are plenty, far as the eye can see. Rivers wide, rushing to the sea. Mountains high, reaching to the sky. This land we love, America. From the coastlines of New England to the Carolina Strait, from the East Kentucky rivers to the California sand, from the prairies of Montana to the Mississippi Delta, this land we love, America. Oh, this land we love, where eagles fly above. This land we love, America. Oh, this land we love, America. Incredible radio stations. That's who we are. We are Town Square Media, and we bring the best of radio to the North Texas area. Wake up early with News Talk 1290. That's us. How about Kelly Raspberry on 92.9 NIN? Yep, that's us. Bringing you the best of country with 102.3 The Bull. That's us. And rocking it all day long with 106.3 The Buzz. That's us. We are Town Square Media, and we're proud to be a sponsor of The Social Space. Welcome back, everybody, to Social Space. We're clapping again. Yay! I'm Chris. That's Jackie. That's Andrew. This is Jackie. This is Jackie. That's Jackie. <laughs> oh, oh <man. laughs> Jackie, we're good with that, aren't yes, we? Yes, we are. Yes, we this are. Is, <laughs> this is Meals on Wheels, Jackie. Yeah. Yes. That is Hager Communications, Jackie. Andrew's just Andrew. I'm just Yeah. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> no clones of us today. Um, so Jackie's with Meals on Wheels. Yes. She has been with Meals on Wheels for a, a, quite a while. Um, tell us about, first of all, tell us who you are and what you do for Meals on Wheels. I'm Jackie Ham, and I've been with Meals on Wheels since 2011. 
and I get the um, privilege to steer the direction we're going as the executive director. I love it. That's yeah. awesome. So, so you've watched Meals on Wheels really grow from 2011 to where they are now. So the, when I started in 2011, the only thing that we did was deliver a hot meal five days a week. Yeah. We now have a weekend program. We have an animal program. We delivered over 40,000 animal and meals last year. Wow. We also um, were starting a case management program. We found during COVID that there's so many more things that our clients need besides nutrition. Mm -hmm. Mm. And so we are putting that program t together. We'll be seeing our clients three to four times a year mm -hmm. instead of just one time a year and putting them in touch with those other services in the county that they might need. Oh, I love yeah. that. I do. So we, we are looking at maybe starting a couple of more programs down the road. Um, lots of growth. That's Lots awesome. Of growth. I love it. Yeah. I love that. So Jackie, how does, how does Mills on Wheels affect the community that we live in? Well, just stop and think. You know, we have so many people here who... Um, they're born and raised here, but they move off, uh -huh. you know? Mm -hmm. A lot of our friends that we went to school with, they've moved off. Yep. Well, their parents are still here, so let us take care of them. Mm -hmm. You know, the retired school teachers, the postmen, the, the retired policemen, you know, let us take care of those people. Yep. They've taken care of us so long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to bring up that you were telling me in our past conversation that really your Meals on Wheels, Wichita County, I still think people by nature think you only service Wichita Falls, but you actually service Wichita County. Tell us a little bit about that and how those on the outlines of the county can reach out for help. Okay. That's another thing that came to our attention during the COVID pandemic. We have three other providers in the county. We have Electra, Burke Burnett, and Iowa Park who service. They have Meals on Wheels just like we do. They have congregate sites just like we do. But most of us actually only serve it as like our city limits yeah. or maybe a little ways out, but not covered an extensive amount. So we found out that there were people out in the county who had no access to these meals during COVID. Mm -hmm. So in that, we've, we've come up with this countywide coverage to cover all of the county outside of what our, our other three partners in the county don't cover. That is wow. a great. Now, I can't imagine for some of these people, that's their daily contact mm -hmm. with another person. Am I right when the Meals on Wheels delivery shows up? It is. Um, I believe that last, our last um, survey, it was 40 something percent, I want to say 42, said that the Meals on Wheels delivery driver was the only person they saw during the day. Mm. Wow. Nine times out of 10. Yeah. You know, of course that wasn't daily, mm -hmm. but for the most part. You have an amazing board, but you also have uh, people that have been delivering for decades, right? We, we do. We have people who have um, been delivering for years. Um, I'll just give you a little, we have a, a, a staff member who's been there almost 40 years. She's been there almost wow. 39. Wow. Yeah, so it's just, um, it kind of it kind of sinks in with you and grabs mm -hmm. a hold of your heart. Mm -hmm. How does someone go about, how do you qualify? Let's, let's just talk about that. Maybe you have a neighbor or a friend who's elderly, doesn't get out of the house. How does someone go about making contact with you to kind of get on the list? Great, um, call our office. We okay. do our assessments over the phone and then we will actually then send out a, a, a licensed case manager to talk to you, talk to you about all your needs, what else you might need besides the home delivered meal all of those things and we're in the in the process of making that um, uh, on our website. Mm -hmm. We want you to be able to go yeah. onto the website and then we'll call you back. But as of yet, that's not ready yet. So yeah. um, just a phone call into our office. And um, we score, there's a there's a score sheet and it, you know, it depends on do you drive? Do you, you know, are you able to do this? There's just different questions that are on the score sheet. I can't think of a better, most rewarding thing than to bring a hot meal to someone mm -hmm. who really needs it, mm -hmm. yeah. you know? Now, I, I gotta say this, because one day I was in your office and you also mentioned how the uh, delivery of animal food kind of came about. Can you tell that story again? <laughs> it did, um, it's a great story. When we were out doing our assessments during the year, we found out that some of our clients were sharing their meal with their pet, uh -huh. you know? It's a financial thing. And so sure. they would eat a little bit. And then, so we just decided we can't have that. If they're not gonna get the nutrition, nutrition 
and uh, you know the vitamins and all those things that they need. So we just started delivering pet food. That's we do cool. one cat or one dog, and we'll deliver um, for a week. Uh -huh. those, those, are those donated? Is that is that dog food and cat food donated? <laughs> well, to you? what we do is just because um, in talking with vets and things like that, uh -huh. let's stick with the same dog food. Yeah. So what we do is we just ask for donations and we buy awesome. the exact same dog food and exact same cat food every week. Yeah, because if yeah. you mix it up, the pet might. End yeah, up it, sick their little tummies problems. get all yeah. messed up. So we yeah. we do the exact same thing every week. You know, we've talked about servicing the client. Talk about let's talk about volunteering to mm -hmm. be a delivery person. How many how many people <laughs> deliver Meals on Wheels today? Right now we have fifty one routes, so we need fifty one volunteers every day. Uh -huh. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, it is. That's a lot. Yeah, we have a lot of people who'll take two two routes, you know, at a time, and we've had volunteers that have been with us for years. Mm -hmm. They. They know more about the clients than we do because they deliver to them every week. Yeah. So volunteerism is always huge for us, and we're always needing drivers, always needing delivery people. I'll tell yeah. you, we get to do community or champions, uh, community champions yes. day every year. And I missed it last year because our office was at a conference. My whole office was, but um, it is some of the most rewarding, mm -hmm. fun, um, really just great experiences that you can have. And I, we we have talked in our office about trying to figure out if there was a day we could go once a week. Where we could, I agree. Where we could that make would be a difference. awesome. I, you know, do it in your office. Do it. Yeah. Get your office to go. Everybody, mm -hmm. you just go have, and then go have lunch. You know, yeah. go go deliver your meals, and then go out go out for lunch on Wednesday or something. How long does it take the average person to deliver their route? We try to keep everything under an hour, so you can do it on Perfect. your lunch hour. We try to keep it at <clears throat> fifteen stops. Now that may be eighteen or twenty meals if it's the spouse, and you Got know it. that may be more meals, but we try to keep it less than fifteen stops. So that we can stay under 45 minutes to an hour, you know. Of course, it's going to go over, but we try to keep that sure. that uh -huh. hour lunch hour in well, in mind when we're. Before we go, I know we've talked about servicing Wichita County and how many drivers. Now, a lot of people. How can someone just say, you know, I can't deliver meals, but I want to donate to you uh, because I'm passionate about what you provide for the community? <clears throat> how does someone go about donating? Oh, there are several ways to do that. One thing I'd like to talk about is our Lunch Bunch program. It's on the, it's on our website. It's a monthly um, pool from your checking account, just like anything else. You don't see it, it's 25, do $25 a month. Don't even know it's gone. And then by the end of the year, I've made a substantial donation. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. So that's on yes. our website. Um, we have, uh, you can donate through our website, checks, cash, anything. Mm -hmm. Love it. We are always open to donations. Yeah, Love great. It. What a for great sure. and, and thank you for your long time service with Meals no on Wheels. Oh. I remember meeting you right after you got here. Yes, remember my that? first event I set by you. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Who are you, Jackie? I'm Jackie. I'm Jackie. That was wild. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My very <laughs> first event. <laughs> Once again, it was awesome. They've never forgotten each other. <laughs> yeah. No, no, not once. Not one time. Well, Jackie, thank you. For thank being you. Here. We thank you. And thank you guys for getting helping yeah. us get this word so out. We're happy to do it. We appreciate it. it. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back. Yay! Yay! The automotive industry is changing fast, but there's one thing that will never change. Four Stars Chevrolet's commitment to bringing you the largest selection of dependable, long-lasting Chevy cars, trucks, and SUVs. The kind of commitment that made us the 2023 Dealer Raider Chevy Dealer of the Year in Texas. Find a new vehicle today and a relationship to last a lifetime at Four Stars Chevrolet. Far as I can see, rivers wide rushing to the sea, mountains high reaching to the sky. This land we love, America. From the coastlines of New England to the Carolina Strait, from the East Kentucky rivers to the California sand, from the prairies of Montana to the Mississippi Delta, this land we love. This land we love, where eagles fly above. This land we love, America. Oh, this land we love, America. 
<laughs> Welcome back to the social space. Yay! And Andrew was laughing, but then he quit abruptly. <laughs> That's because he has dreams of the pool. He does. The new hotel. Let's talk about the hotel for a second. Yeah. The, the Delta by Marriott, the new hotel over by the MPEC, is open. Hey, I'm hearing nothing but great things about the steakhouse. It, yeah, I've heard good Same. about the steakhouse as oh, well. Oh, there's a restaurant in there? Yes. Too. yes. <laughs> in the pool. Skinny dipping and then head on over to Or why don't you go eat and yes. have some drinks and then you'll be ready yes. for the skinny dipping? Yeah. Do we know if it's salt or chlorine? Water? I believe it's chlorine. Okay. Okay. Is that important to you? Could be. <laughs> I don't know. It's right next to the little workout room. Andrew's really getting nice. a birthday party. <laughs> We're gonna give him a birthday party at the pool. At the pool. Yes. It's fabulous. We've Thank got you, some Jackie. deep balloons are right inside that room over there. That so, would be January. So get your okay. Get your get your swimsuit ready. I'll be Jackie. there. I'll be well, what's there. nice is the pool's enclosed. Yeah. They can open it up when it's yes, warm. Yes, it is. They can close it. They can close it when it's not there we warm. Go. So anyway, the, it's open. The restaurant's okay. open. The, uh, I really have heard great things. The conference center is not quite done. It's okay. very close, but the hotel itself, in earnest, is open. Yeah. And they would love you to come by and see it. Yeah. And it's really nice. It's That's absolutely nice. gorgeous. Yeah. That's it's awesome. the nicest hotel, and I, nothing against our other hotels. They're fantastic. Sure. But it's the only full service hotel in the city, mm -hmm. and it is, it's as modern as it can get right now. That's so great. It's, it's beautiful. It is really, really nice. So go by and see that. And they'll do a ribbon cutting uh, in October in a couple, couple of weeks. I can't remember the exact date, but they are going to do a ribbon cutting there, and it'll be a big happy time and it'll be a long event because they're actually going to put food trucks in the big circle drive in the front oh, very cool so we'll be there it'll be something to come by <laughs> sure. we'll talk more yeah. about that okay. next week and get you the date and the time and when you can go okay let's talk drought for a minute mm -hmm. we've seen cooler temperatures yay thank goodness first day of fall was like last weekend or whatever so yay it was a little toasty but it was 102 last or something yeah. i don't know it was mm -hmm. weird but it's it's texoma weather so we got some rain um, the Smidgen. lakes got some rain. Smidgen. The lakes got a little bit. The watershed mm -hmm. got some rain, which is good. Yep. Lake levels this past week, and we'll get new ones tomorrow, only dropped four tenths of a percent, which is fantastic. Mm. Because the last couple of weeks, it's been about a half a percent right around there. When the weeks, three, four, five weeks before, it was at least eight to nine percent, mm -hmm. or eight to nine tenths of a percent every time. We were almost at a percent. So that's cut in half. Part of that is we're continuing to conserve like we should be. Yep. And the other part is, is that evaporation rate is a lot lower because we don't have this hot, dry, windy weather going on every single mm -hmm. day that just takes our water out of the lake. So mm -hmm. that is good news. So, but we still have to continue to conserve. Sure. We've keep we need some, we need a wet fall. Yeah. It would be nice. For sure. Yeah. It would be nice. Uh, also, city council coming up again on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. um, it's an 8:30 meeting at city council chambers. There's nothing huge on this agenda. Can you believe that? Yeah. It should be a relatively I'm a knock on some stuff quiet <laughs> meeting. But you can always watch it on the city's Facebook page. You can watch it live stream there. Watch it on the city's website at wichitafallstx.gov. Okay. Or you can just hang out for a minute, and then once it's done, it'll be on YouTube, and it'll replay on the city's website as well. Okay. So we're excited about that. Another meeting. It's always progress. There's a lot of spending in this one because you can tell it's the beginning of the fiscal year because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they're like, okay, let's get some projects moving yeah. that we need to get moving. So okay. there are some, a lot of, I'll say there's a lot of garbage trucks that are going to be bought in this next. But... I will say this too, all of them came in under budget, Great. which is amazing. Okay. Yeah, That doesn't happen, especially the last couple of years because everything went way up. Wow. It went way up and the supply chain and all that stuff just drove everything through the roof. So maybe, just maybe it settled down uh -huh. and we'll get to save a few bucks on the equipment. That this well, there's needs. lots of events coming up as we, you know, keep rallying yeah. into October. Yes. And the impact uh, is a busy support place. Support all of those nonprofits. Do it. There's mm -hmm. lots of events in October and November. Yes. And then as we roll into the holiday season. So think about, I always challenge people, think about maybe giving a gift to a nonprofit this year versus a something something. Yeah. I mean, do we all really need more stuff? I don't think so necessarily. No. So Let them about, buy more stuff. Think about giving <laughs> For meals people who need on, it. Yes. Yeah. Meals on Wheels or any of the nonprofits of your choice, possibly as your Christmas gift, because those nonprofits, Jackie, need it. We know they need it. it that would be fabulous. I yes. know that um, everyone and every one of the nonprofits in Wichita Falls would be grateful. Yeah. Yes. We're very grateful. Yeah. It, it'd be almost like a Textoma Gives Round 2 if you gave mm -hmm. to nonprofits for Christmas this year. And, you Why don't know? we just say Texoma Cares at Christmas? Yeah. We'll just there, we go. there you go. There you go. That's copyright yeah. Chris Morgan and I'm okay. kidding. I'm, it's not, look, Jackie's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Do you really? The other Jackie's laughing. One Jackie's like, okay. Andrew's just laughing like normal. 
Okay. All right. Alrighty. Thank you, Jackie. Thank, thank you, you, Andrew. Yes. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you. Thank you, Jackies out there. Appreciate <laughs> you. And thank you, everybody, else for joining us. We'll see you next week. Yay. Bye. <laughs>